Five years, I was at the Duplin County Correctional Facility. I want to try to shorten this. Shane Yusuf doesn't know this, but he's very instrumental in my being where I am today. After I completed my education, the North Carolina Department of Corrections said, we want you to be the first institution-based imam in the state of North Carolina. And guess what? I was. The New York Department of Corrections tried to get me to come to work for them. And I didn't want to go to New York because I'm not a polar bear. I don't like the cold. But they were having a conference in Arlington, Virginia. Springfield. They were Springfield, thank you, brother. And they wanted me to go to this conference. And I said, listen, I've been working for five years as an imam for less than $27,000 a year. i got four children and a wife. I can't go. Sheikh Yusuf said, brother, if you can get here, I'll find you a place to stay. That was not a first for Sheikh Yusuf. Taking people in is the way he became a Muslim. Sheikh Yusuf was a Christian musician and minister. We had a lot in common. Except he became a Muslim in 88, I became a Muslim in 87, and I think he's just a few years older than me. That's supposed to be funny. <laughs> he was a very typical American. He'd been married a few times and divorced at least once. Right, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, go ahead. <laughs> a man like I, who had been from rags to riches monetarily, we had enjoyed the company, company of kings and paupers alike. But something was missing in our lives. Do you know how hard it is for a 50-year-old man to change? <laughs> I'm 46 and I know how hard it is. Wait till you get to 60. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Sheikh Yusuf was working in his, with his father, who was also an ordained minister, in a witnessing center that was disguised as a consignment shop. They called it a consignment shop. What do you know about that? I do my homework, brother. You told me to do that. <laughs> So they had this consignment shop, and Sheikh Yusuf's father said, Jim, I want you to meet this Egyptian man. Sheikh Yusuf, I don't want to meet no Egyptian terrorist. <laughs> I'm not. His father said, I want you to meet him. He was studying to be a missionary at the time. And so he said, well, I'm going to meet him under my term, Dad. He has to meet me at church on Sunday. So he invited him to church, and he was convinced that he was going to make a Christian out of it. You see, Sheikh Yusuf was a die before he came a Muslim. He was trying to get everybody to be a Christian before he ever came into Islam. Not only did he invite the Egyptian Muslim, he invited his Irish priest friend, Pete. Well, that was his name, right, brother? Father Peter. Jim. Father Peter. One day, when Sheikh Yusuf asked Muhammad, that was your Egyptian friend, right? What is religion taught about God? They were in the car, and Muhammad recited to him Surah Ikhlas. And Sheikh Yusuf had what we used to call in the Baptist days the Holy Ghost goose pimple. That means you feel something, you get goosebumps, you know. He was moved. He still wanted to see how he could bring this man to Islam, and he also wanted to find out how he could bring maybe Islam into Christianity. If he couldn't bring the man, at least he could bring his ideas. One morning, Father Pete went to the masjid with Muhammad. The next day he went to the masjid and he came back and he walked in with a jalabiyya on, saying, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad rasulullah I declare that there is no God but Allah and his messenger is Muhammad. Sheikh Yusuf became angry. 
Because he wanted to embrace Islam first. Here the Catholic priest had embraced Islam. He wanted to be first. He couldn't sleep that night. The next morning, he went out behind the barn. I bet when he grew up, he went behind the barn. It was for something else besides prayer. He didn't hear that. But he went behind the barn, and he got on a piece of plywood, and he put his head on the ground, and he called on Allah. And he went inside the house, and he did his shahada. Now, today, he's all over the country inviting people to his land. When I went to Springfield, Virginia to visit Sheikh Yusuf, he said to me, Brother, the Al Rahman Foundation in England is going to give five scholarships for imams in the prison system. I said, Are you crazy? They're not going to give me a scholarship. I'm a white man. I'm a white man and a Muslim, and they're going to give me a He said, Look, brother, I just want you to apply. I applied and I got the scholarship. There were three people out of 60 that qualified for this scholarship. And I lost a pound, but the other man, you could be one of them. <coughs> so I commuted from North Carolina to Virginia every week, and then from Florida to Virginia until I got my master's in Islamic social science. I am now one of ten imams employed by the United States Department of Justice, Federal Bureau of Prisons, and I do double work every time I get an invitation. I don't already have an invitation. Without further ado,